all winners quit if you want to win in that goal you've been pursuing that project you're working on you really need to quit and this is not to waste your time i've established my facts that winners quit it's really overrated when they say winners don't quit or quitters don't win a lot of writers have made us to understand that if you want to make it in life you must not quit you have to put your head into it but then it is not entirely true because if we read further to check into all these entrepreneurs people who have succeeded in your own definition of success you realize that some of those people actually quit before we get into that i really need to establish this part to renew her mindset a lot of things that they've made us to believe in and if we look at it like deep down we'll know that these things are not entirely the truth every decision comes with an opportunity oftentimes people see quitting as a result of self-weakness i remember starting a program some years back and i decide that okay this is not working for me and i just have to quit it's not a sign of self-weakness it's a sign of self-awareness it is realizing that this thing is not working for you and moving on to what is going to work it actually involves being honest with yourself about what you're working on and having the wisdom to make tough decisions and this level of self-awareness is a very important one in fact it is very crucial for your long-term success because it helps you to focus your efforts on the most part where it is needed rather than spreading your efforts across different fields and different areas and you know what success does not come by sticking to one thing it comes by you finding a new one finding a fit finding where you really happy at what you are happy at doing and what you feel like okay you're passionate in doing and how can you find this if you choose to stick to one particular thing and decide not to quit because this mentality has been built in you that only losers quit now let me establish this fact that quitting is not a losing game and quitting is not significant to failure quitting is just relating to you making a strategic movement now this is it winners are not those who never quit winners are those who choose to quit on the right things and at the right time most of us we've been doing a particular thing consistently and we'll be following that pattern and recently we realized that the world is evolving people are becoming more digital whatever you're doing is not really working there is no need to be ashamed to stop that particular thing you're working on or to decide to improve or decide to move into another section or another segment especially for people who create content most of us are like okay i'm in this particular area if i stop now it's as if i'm going to know you're just making a strategic move you're planning yourself you're trying to up your game to another level to another stage where you'll get better so quitting is not something that should be stigmatized it's not something that you should feel like okay you're inferior because you're quitting it just shows that you're more sensible you're applying wisdom you're becoming more focused in what you choose to do now so next time you find yourself clinging to something because of your fear to quit ask yourself why am i reluctant to quit is it because of what people will see how you think people will perceive you is it because of your fear of being stigmatized a quitter but really ask yourself these questions what you're doing now does it really serve you? Is this the path you should follow? If you continue to do this now at this rate, where do you think you're going to be in the nearest future? If the answer is no, my dear brother and sister, I think it is time for you to quit. Time for you to embrace the journey and tell yourself you're ready to start something new. Now let's move on to the next part on certain things that you need to quit in order for you to become a winner. The first of it all, you need to quit your fear of uncertainties. See, most of us, we refuse to take action or we refuse to take a step because we're worried about uncertainty. How will it turn out? How is it going to look like eventually? Now, you have to give yourself this chance. Ask yourself, what if it eventually works out? What if it is successful? What if you're happy? What if the next one you decide to do is a game changer that will move things around, that will turn things around? So you need to quit your heart of fear. 
for you to become a winner with perfectionism. I don't really need to explain much, so I'll just be making a list of them. Good toxic relationship, the one that brings negativity to you, the one that drains your energy. Quit overcommitting. Do not overcommit yourself to things and people that do not profit you stop saying yes when you really need to say no learning how to prioritize your time effectively quit the fear of failure quit comparing yourself with others quit unhealthy habits quit self-doubt and quit negative self-talks this one is quit holding grudges this is not a winner's mindset micromanaging procrastination limiting beliefs comfort zone unproductive work Quit all of these things and you realize that as a winner, you're going to triumph. You're going to do better in everything you're doing. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching my content. Thank you for engaging because I know you're going to engage in the comments. What other things do you think that winners should also quit? Please drop them down in the comment section and talk to me what really resonates with you in this content. Like, what do you think? Please don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe. I am yours sincerely. <laughs> Bye.